Hey guys, Tyler from Yemenic Stage bringing you another episode of Outlast. And we're trying to get away from these guys, these gentlemen here. It's just that I don't know how. Where's the door? Where's the door? So I have no idea how to get away from these guys. This at all. I have no earthly idea. Yeah, and they killed me. They just, they kill you in two hits. I have no idea what to do. This is the part of the game that makes me hate this game. Well, these are the parts of the game that make me hate this game. Like, I know it's a survival horror game, but also it's not scary. It's just repetitive and annoying. I hate this game. Can I, can I? Nope, can't use those doors. Yay, kill me. Love it. Where's my gun so I can shoot myself? Okay. Pick up the camcorder. Run to the door back here. Just to see if I can use it. Nope, sure can't. Nope, and get killed again. Love it. Oh wow. This game's so good. Can't wait for the sequel. I'm never gonna play Outlast 2. Cause I know that I know they're making it. But now that I've played the now that I've played Outlast the first one for myself, I don't know why anybody likes it. Because it's it's not that good. Oh cool, my my blood is like floating because physics. Some parts of this game are like, wow, that's scary and that's fantastic. Th these parts of the game where you're like getting chased down and killed are dumb. Don't like it at all. To be quite honest, I don't remember how I walked through here. So. Jump up here. Can I get can I get away from my jumping up here? Why is the okay? Yeah, I think I got away from him. Saving. Yeah, I got away from him. So now I have this like annoying cracked screen thing, which that's just fine and dandy I guess. I guess that's going to stay with me throughout the entire game, the rest of the game. So somehow we're going to get to the third floor. How? I guess we'll not go through here. 
I guess we'll go. Ow. That is where I need to go, right? It looks like it. It looks like the sensible place to go. Yeah. And then I can... What can I do from here? I guess I can shimmy across. Yeah, it's glitching up a lot. So I cannot jump that. I cannot. That has been made clear for me. supposed to go back in there. Got a battery. Um where? Like I gotta get to the I'm I gotta somehow get to the third floor there's gonna be something to do with this room I somehow have to get up there now that I've got my camcorder back can I like shimmy all the way across. I don't... I don't think I can. Yeah. I can't jump. I can sure climb though, okay. What a, that was a, I made it a lot more complicated than I needed to. Oh, blood. Okay. Um, jump. Getting close to the end of the game. I think. It like it seems like once I talk to Father Martin and like really talk to Father Martin, he'll be like, "Oh, loading screen." That's what Father Martin will say. He'll say, "Oh, loading screen." Um. Okay. What? No. on the first floor. Maybe we are back on the first floor. I don't know. No, we are on the second floor. And then we went down. A lot. <laughs> so maybe we are back on the first floor. I don't even know. But... Yeah, we're on the, we're on the second floor. Hide. Where can I hide? Yeah. 
Peter Pan. What kind of camera did this guy have that he can just like... What? What just happened? This guy can run his camera on like one AAA battery at a time. Of course it doesn't last that long either, so... This camera's not as good as I'm saying it is. Peter Pan. Get in the vents, you idiot. Oh my god. I hate this game. It's not good. Okay. Alright. Come on. He hasn't noticed us yet. Just get in the vent. Oh, that is a bad idea. It's not the game's fault, I'm a retard. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh boy. Now, wait for him to go into that room. And then get into the open vent, not the closed vent, you retard. Or he can just see me immediately. Please kill me. I want to die. Why did he like stop? He stopped for a second there. I know what to do. Run. Ta-da. Oh, hey! It's the hallway from the very beginning of the game. Yes, uh, I'm supposed to tell you. The key to the house of God is in the theater. Behind the light. In the theater, behind the light. You have to see the movie, so that's where I left the car. Okay? Friends! Children! I need your help! Where are you? Yes, coming! I'm coming! The theater behind the light. You gotta watch the movie. Recreation hall. Theater behind the light. Where's the theater? I can't see where I'm going that well because my display is broken. Oh, I can just walk around. Fantastic.
All right. Um. What are these? I don't know. I'm trying to find this theater that they're talking about. This sure does look like a theater. Uh, exit interview reported December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolph Wernicke, 14866. Huh. The fumes are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors. What is this? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English births are insufficient. More than hope, a human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed the proximity to death to over. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go up here and... Well, the plan was to go up there and... Oh. And then I can go here. I'm gonna go up here and, uh... Where the projector is. And... Get something. Uh... Jump scare be j scary. Now it won't even let me try to open that door anymore. That actually did scare me a bit. But then you just like, the key, there's a key. There's a key there, and I need to get it. Okay, so there's going to be another way in that room. Is there just like absolutely nothing beside the door there? Convenient. No. You think that they contacted something supernatural? Shimmy. Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was the gateway. A gateway to what? Project Wallrider. So, like, down there, there's, like, a whole lot of lore that I should probably be listening to to further grasp the story of this game, but I'm not. <laughs> Bada boom. Now I can gain access to the third floor. Just drop, okay. Oh no. I'm stuck. Okay. I get it. I don't know how to get out of here, but I'm going to eventually. This has been Tyler of Gaming Next Stage. I hope you have enjoyed, and goodbye. <laughs>